I made my first experimental models to provide myself with means to listen to music. I could have bought the speakers, but I wanted something uh, with a closer approach to accuracy of reproduction. Some revolutions begin on a battlefield, others in a tin shed. Klipsch wasn't invented in Germany or Austria or Czech or wherever. It was invented in the head of a madman. Klipsch was invented in Hope, Arkansas, America, by Paul W. Klipsch. Paul W. Klipsch was a rebel with a cause. He was one man hell-bent to start a revolution with an undying, unyielding passion to build speakers that could create the live music experience for the listener, a portal between you and the performer. Some geniuses are driven by a vision. For PWK, it was a sound. He was a certified genius, but many thought he was just plain certifiable. He created rules by breaking rules. He took a stand. Klipsch is his passion. Klipsch is his lust. Klipsch is his line drawn in the sand. Klipsch is flat frequency response, low distortion, high efficiency, and controlled directivity. Klipsch is lighter fluid on a flaming guitar. It's a front stage pass. Klipsch is horn-loaded nectar. Klipsch can put an orchestra in your living room or an entire rock concert in your cranium. Klipsch is bebop to hip-hop, Bach to rock, Stratocaster to Stradivarius, East Coast to West Coast, and all the flyover country in between. Klipsch is red, white, and blue jeans. Klipsch makes the scary shark music scarier and the psycho music more psychotic. It's happy guests and pissed off neighbors. Klipsch is heresy. Klipsch is no bullshit. Klipsch lets you live the power. Klipsch lets you live the detail. Klipsch lets you live the emotion. Klipsch lets you live the music.